<laughs> hey everybody, okay. I know it's been like two weeks exactly since I've been on making videos, but I've been busy with work and everything. Like whenever I get home, so tired and I'm like, you know what? Another day, another day, another day has turned into two weeks. So <laughs> I just want to come to y'all. Um, like I said, it's been two there's always something coming up on this screen. I'm sorry, y'all. But, um, <laughs> like I said, it's been two weeks since I got this hair installed. This is the t the three bundles. Well, let me explain. This is the plush extensions. The natural straight texture is Brazilian. Um, I didn't get to use all three bundles, but I used all of the 24-inch, all of the 22-inch, but I used, like, a few tracks of the 20-inch. And I have, like, a good amount left. But the hair is, like, natural looking. Like, in the other video that I made, I probably said that I was going to have her, my mom, put in the rest of the bundle. But it's like there is possibly, there is no possible way for her to add a name right here. She doubled the 24-inch and the 22-inch. And it's like, there is no room. I guess the next time I have her do it, I'll just have her do like smaller braids or just add a net in the middle something because I want all of the hair added and um I want it to be like all used at the same time um but so far like, this is going to be like a uh not a review video but an update video to let y'all know how the hair is going um obviously I got my leave out relaxed I had my mom do that for me as well and I'm um, love like you know how when you get your hair relaxed and that, and right after you wash, you go ahead and straighten it. You put your leave-ins, your heat protectant, your oils, and then you flatten it and it comes out perfect. Smooth as butter, everything, it matches so perfect with your sew-in and everything. Then it's like you go ahead and wash it one time and it is not the same. That's exactly what happened. Um, <laughs> it always happens, like my hair is perfect after the first time I wash it. And it's like, ooh, I love how my hair is flowing, it's moving, it's all shiny and everything. And then I wait about a week, then I, I'm like, oh, my scalp is just ridiculous, it's flaky, it is just ridiculous. You go ahead and wash your hair, and it is like, not the same. Like, I, it's a lot better than before I had my relaxer, but it's just not the same. Like, I don't know if it's because I used a different heat protectant and leave-in. Or if it's just what I'm like, just like different after you wash your hair. Because I don't know about everybody else's type, but me and my sisters, when we get a relaxer and it's like, why is shit always popping up? Like when we get relaxers, after that first time you wash, it's perfect. And after the, the second time you wash, it's like, okay, you, it looked like you done had a relaxer a long, long time ago. Our hair is like really hard to tame with relaxers. So it's like, Ooh, it's really hard to deal with, but I get over it. I'm like, whatever. My hair looks a lot better than before I got my relaxer this time because my hair was really poofy on the leave out and it was not blending as well as it could have with the relax with the the sewing here with the weave. But I was like, whatever. Um, I try not to use as much heat on it. I don't want to use heat on it every day. Um, I try to like stay off the heat off of my leave out like I don't mind using heat on my actual on my weave hair I don't mind I will use heat every day if I need to but I don't need to because the hair holds a curl for days um but with my leave out I try to use heat like every three days because it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not going nowhere to be looking perfect I just go to work and come home go to the store whatever that's it I don't go nowhere special when my hair needs to be perfect so like this piece, I don't like that this piece is like poking out on both sides, but I'm like, whatever, nobody's analyzed my hair like that, so it's fine. Um, but so far, let's get down to the hair. Let me show you how long it is on me in the front. It is that long. It is this hair is oh, I love this hair, it's like my best hair ever. Um <laughs> But it's a 20, let me say this again, it's a 24 inch, a 22, and a 20. Um, but it's not all of the 20, it's all of the 24, it's all of the 22, but it's only a few tracks of the 20. And it's the Brazilian natural straight texture, and it's a natural brown, and it 
it matches perfectly with my hair. I didn't have to dye anything. Um, and it's so pretty. Like, it's like a natural ombre. Like, it's darker up here than it gets lighter at the tip. So, it's like a light brown at the tip. And it's really pretty in the sunlight. Spin has completed. Warning. Rich Clean Pro detected problems that need your attention. Click fixed issues. Shut to up. These problems. I don't know what this thing always does. Something. I'm sorry. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> but, um, let's get into the hair. Um, it, like, it doesn't shed a whole lot. Like, it sheds at a minimum. Like, I know I leave hair on the bathroom floor after I comb, but what hair isn't going to have hair come out when you comb it? Um, it doesn't tangle at all. Like, I can run my fingers through this hair all day and it's, there's no tangles, no snags, or nothing. It um, doesn't mat in the back. It doesn't do nothing that none of that. Like the the um, curls in the back on your nape might flatten out quicker, but I don't mind that because like it's on the bottom. Who's gonna be looking at the bottom of your hair? And be like, oh, girl, your curls fit on. No, it's not that serious. Um, what else? The hair, like um, I washed it. I washed this hair what like two times since I've had it in in two weeks and. Um, the last time I washed it, I didn't get all the conditioner out, so I'm kind of mad about that, and I didn't use shampoo on this hair, because I ran out of shampoo, and it was like, okay, which do I wash? Which shampoo with my scalp or my weave? I picked my scalp, so I'm like, I'm not going to have flicks all over the place like this, so it was, I decided to wash my hair, and I just, um, co-washed my weave with the blue bottle of the... Um, Garnier Fructis. I think it's like touch something. I can't remember what the fuck, like which one it was, but that's what I use. I use a cheapy conditioner from Garnier Fructis in a blue bottle, and it came out good. It would have came out a lot better if I took the time to rinse out all the conditioner, but I was in a rush, and I was trying to go to sleep and had the hair dry out before morning I, when I had to be to work. Um... And this is the problem I always have with all hair. I don't think it's the hair. I think it's just me. Okay, so when I go to, well, I'm like, not flatten, but curl my hair. I don't use, like, do tight curls or nothing like that. I just do, like, waves. It comes out wavy. And, like, at this time, they're probably, like, it's, like, a slight way, like, the way I want it. But the left side, this side on here, always comes out better than the right side because I'm right-handed. So when I go to curl this side, it comes out the exact way I want it. This side comes out more of a, like, it's always a different curl pattern than this side. And it makes me so mad. Like, I can only imagine I put all the hair in the back that you can probably notice that the curl patterns are different. But I'm like, whatever. It's not that serious. Like I said, I'm going to work. Who's going to really look at my hair and say, oh, girl, the curl patterns are different. It does not matter. I tried, and after like a day, the curls fall down, and they both look the same. So I'm like, whatever. But I'm working on that, trying to see what it is. But I don't put heat protectant on the weave. I put heat protectant on my leave up, but I don't put heat protectant on the weave. I just like in the past, I've used I've used it on other hairs, and it just weighs down the hair. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it the way it is. Um, if the curl falls out, so what? I want the hair to be straight anyways. This is a straight texture. It has a slight wave in it, but if that goes away, I'm not really going to be upset because I don't want the curl in there anyways. But so far, the hair is really good. Um, I love it. This is all the hair to one side. And it's still kicking. It's still really good. It's not giving me no huge problems. Nothing like that. Um... The ends are still healthy. Like, can you see? Like, I can't even show you that good because it's not the greatest lighting in this room. But the ends are still healthy. They move like my hair moves all day. And I get a number of compliments from guests and um, employees that work in my job. Everybody loves my hair. And I'm like, thank you. I tell them exactly where I got it from Plush Extensions. You want you some? They always got a sale, and their hair is cheap. This one girl, she actually, she's like, "How much was the hair?" And I told her it was two hundred fifteen dollars for three bundles, and at this link, that is a steal because, like, at that much, you like you can go to AliExpress and get like a sixteen, eighteen, and a twenty inch, like almost that much, and it's like they're shorter lengths. I got twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. 
and it was shipped and handling included for $215. You can't get that not too many places. Like at this length, you would have to pay like what, three something for this. And I'm like, no, I'm never gonna pay a lot, it's a huge, huge, huge amount. 200 is already enough for me. I'm like, that's my limit. I'm stopping right there. Um, <laughs> but so far, I still love the hair. I'm gonna keep you guys posted every few weeks. Just let you know what's going on, what I do differently to it and everything, but the video's getting long enough. So, I'll talk to you guys later.